Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about thyroid hormone synthesis. So the iodine is taken up by the diet and it went to the stomach and to the thyroid gland. Now as we know that thyroid gland have two cells which are follicular cells and parafollicular cells. The follicular cells are the cells which produce thyroid hormone. So this is a follicular cell this is a blood vessel and this is the colloid of the follicular cells in the colloid there is a protein known as thyroglobulin this is a protein which which is having tyrosine residues later we will see what's the role of this protein so the iodine came from the blood vessels and goes into the follicular cells by use of NIS which is sodium iodine symporter this is the first step in the formation of thyroid hormone after coming into the cell it the second step is oxidation of the iodine and it is carried out by the thyroid peroxidase the third step is iodination of the tyrosine by thyroid peroxidase and now the thyroglobulin will have a role here the iodine will attach to the tyrosine as you can see the iodine is going to tyrosine and and it forms MIT and DIT MIT is mono iodo tyrosine and DIT is di iodo tyrosine and the fourth step is coupling of MIT and DIT and this is also done by thyroid peroxidase so MIT plus DIT forms T3 and DIT plus DIT forms T4 and these are our thyroid hormones so then the fifth step is proteolysis of T3 and T4 from the thyroglobulin protein and after proteolysis the T3 and T4 goes out to the follicular cells and to the blood vessels as you can see here and then the T3 and T4 went to the target organs for their roles and which is basically growth and proliferation of the cells I hope you like the video please like and share thank you